cutting edge anointing of the prophetic on your life. I kind of said that twice. It's the power, keenness of the Spirit of God working through you. It's your confidence being up, feeling like whatever it is that God's challenge He's put before you, you're up to the task. And whatever trees stand in the way, you're able to empty that, make a rough place smooth and a crooked place straight. When that prophetic component, that accent, that power component of the Lord, that confidence in Jesus showing up and showing off when you do is in place, you feel like there is no tree too big that it cannot fall when you start swinging. But it's another thing in that moment where you feel like your axe head fell. When I went through my dark night of the soul probably about five, six years ago, my confidence was rocked. Even my son talked to me about it and said, man, dad, I just really feel like, man, your confidence. He was absolutely right. My confidence. It felt like, man, an axe head was in the bottom of the water. This crisis hit my family. It hit me at the very place I lived. And I'm just kind of left holding the bag. And I'm just thinking, man, what is going on? And I, I was never one, and, and still I'm not. I'm not one to act. I'm not one to be uh, fake or anything like that. But I also believe as a leader, I can't wear my emotions on my sleeves. I recognize that as a leader, I can't just slip into pity party. If God in that moment is putting an anointing on me to exhort and encourage, I can't play the victim in that moment. I've got to be the victor. Now, I may have to go to some other brothers and sisters and bawl and weep and please pray me through and whatever you got to do. And I got to anoint my pillow at night and whatever I got to do, man. Bury scripture on the four corner of my property. Man, you got to fight. The only way you know how to fight. And so in saying that, I feel like there can be some leaders here and you're smiling and you're shaking hands and you're appreciative of the conference and everything. But when you go, some of you are having to go back and feel like, man, I've lost something very vital. And it seems like my work is at least halted, if not at this point, totally sidetracked. Now, imagine, and this is not what we're going to do. Imagine if that dude who lost the axe head just kept swinging the wood and kept making the chopping sounds. And everybody around him would think he's working as hard as everybody else. But the only problem is the trees aren't falling. 